Well, now to a string of smash and grab robberies across Philadelphia. Authorities say several stores have been targeted since late May, and now a federal investigation is underway tonight. Action News reporter Walter Perez live along South Street with the story you'll only see here on Action News this evening. Walter. That's right, Rick. You know, smash and grabs in the city are not altogether unusual, but Action News has learned that several recent burglaries are not only possibly linked, they might be connected to a large, sophisticated ring based out of Washington, D.C. Back in September, Action News brought you the story of four masked men who descended upon LXY Boutique on the 700 block of Sansom Street. Armed with an electric saw, they smashed their way in before making away with more than $200,000 worth of designer bags. But sources say federal investigators believe the LXY Boutique was not the only high-end shop targeted by the same burglars. Not by a long shot. They're in and out in two to three minutes. It's, it's really quick. Cornelius Massey from Blink Optical on South Street says a group of men using the same method of operation hit his store twice. He says the first time was back in August when they stole approximately $100,000 worth of expensive eyewear. Then they came the second time and we installed a $13,000 steel gate after that too. But somehow they used a power tool, they got through, and they took another $100,000 worth of same Chrome Heart, Cartier, and Maybach. And this map reveals four locations having been hit seven times since this past May in Philadelphia that appear to be linked to the same group. Authorities have also confirmed to Action News that Homeland Security is investigating to see if they might be linked to a sophisticated burglary network based out of Washington, D.C., targeting high-end boutiques in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Cornelius Massey says he is just hopeful that the ring is busted before they strike again. It's pretty bad. It's devastating, man. You know, we're business owners. We, we do the best we can. We pay our taxes, and this is how we get treated. Now, in each case, three or four men are involved, each burglary occurring between 2 and 3 in the morning, and the getaway car is always a stolen vehicle that is later ditched. And so far, no arrests have been made. Reporting live from South Street, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News. Rick? Walter, thank you.